Well, it's rather a special day today. My coffee journey is taking one small step for Mason, one giant leap for my coffee journey. Absolutely. That's what it is. We've got a little venture going on here. We are making our way. We're up the motorway. Let's just give you a quick... Uh, Run away. Oh, here we go, look. Wakefield on our little expedition. Sunny Wakefield. My coffee expedition. Oh my word, this is unbelievable. My coffee expedition, love that. It is, my coffee expedition. Unbelievable. Big decision made, mm. big change of career yeah. for Mason. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a really interesting time. This last couple of weeks, what with everything going on, you've made a decision to made a decision. So I made a decision, didn't I? Rightly or wrongly at the right time, who knows? I quit my job right as COVID started, didn't I? Yeah. So, uh, with the plans of a few things in mind, but I've had this idea for a while, haven't I? Um, of buying a coffee van and travelling around, being the mobile barista, bringing the coffee to everybody else. So, so we went over, didn't we? We went over to Luke. Wakefield last week well, and we, we had a look at this. We looked at the other one, we looked at the other one, which was a bit of a nail. Yeah, for the money, it needed a lot doing to it. It got a lot of tatty bits, and I was expecting it to be in really good, perfect condition, but it just wasn't. So we went for a ride in it. It was hard work, so we came back. We had a look at some others, and then we saw this one, went to this one, it just felt right, didn't it? It, it did, one. yeah, yeah. So after seeing the other one, and then we came to this, it was uh, it was different gravy, wasn't it? It really was. This one just, I mean, just look at it. The way they'd set it up and everything. I, I feel like the first one we went to see, God, didn't even want to sell it. It was really weird. This one, they'd set it up exactly how you'd want to see it. You've got everything you need to know. We just, yeah, it felt so right, didn't it? It did. It did feel good. It, really it looked nice. It was the right era, because we love Who's the 80s, don't we? smeller over there. Hello, sir. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a few. What we were looking for was something different, something a little bit quirky, something a little bit vintage. Yeah. Um, well, we, had, we sort of had a few things we wanted. We wanted, like you say, we wanted the vintage. We wanted the inside the van, not outside the car or slash van, whatever. So there was a few things we were looking for, and this one just it ticked the ticked the boxes for most things. Like I say, there's a couple of things on it that we were a bit probably still need work on. Yeah, but it's the not the full part, package. It was there. Yeah, we have got a couple of little tweaks we need to tweak and just find and you know make things slightly different. But as a whole. As you'll see shortly, because um, we're not too far away now. Yeah, We've had a good run up from Leicester. Um, and we'll go and find out and we'll show you what we're going to come and see. Let's go. Let's do it. So we looked at a couple of the uh, the Citroen H vans, or HY H -Y. vans, um, which we really liked. We did like them, but they are really vintage. Um, and if you've got to drive them any distance, they're... It was a bit of a bone shaker. Um, you can get some with uh, new engines been fitted to them. Um, I don't know. Well, a lot of them as well, then they do them without the engine, don't they? Yeah, and they actually tow them around and trailer them, which isn't what we were looking for. We wanted something that you could literally get in, drive to where you want to stand, and uh, and the van's got to be usable. It's, it's got to be semi practical. Yeah. So, vintage, we've gone for 1981, which I think was a pretty good year. Roads where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, it was a pretty oh, pretty good year. <laughs> and uh, I think we're gonna kinda stroke that classic theme. Yeah, keep it vintage. Keep, keep it, it vintage. vintage. I mean the good one with this as well, a thing that we did what I liked especially about it, when they built this, they put a sort of vintage coffee machine in there as well. Absolutely. So it's not a new coffee machine. No. It's a refurbed um, San Marco, is it? Yeah, yeah. La San Marco, yeah. 85, 12, 2. Yeah, there you go. I can't remember his own birthday, but you can remember that. I can remember that. It's a lovely looking machine. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Dead simple, but it's that, like, yeah, it just it fits with the van really nice. So, yeah, keep him with that vintage theme, I think, all round. So, we're on his way to go and see Andrew and Tasha, who have uh, pretty much lovingly built and restored this van to some kind of uh, usability. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so this particular van as well, where did it start its life? It spent most of its life in the south of France. It has? Well, it yeah. spent all of its life over there, hasn't it? Pretty yeah, over the last couple of years. years or so, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's been, it was used on their vineyard in the south of France, not a bad life, um, transporting grapes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty Gra much. Yeah. Grapes and bottles of wine. Yeah, not a bad life, <laughs> is it? Not a bad life. 
hot old city around there. It's a bit, bit rough and bumpy. So this is the actual build photos when it was all put together. That's the machine. It's all been completely restored. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. And you can see as it's coming along, painting the wheels, get some decals on it. Interior is completely finished. Back doors have had a bit of work done, but not the best. It's exciting stuff, we're nearly there. We're onto this state, and that little treasured van is tucked away just down there here. Is. Oh, can see it, see it, look, look, see it. There it. Look, guess right, car park. Yeah. So here it is, what do you think? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Do you want some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the 1981 Peugeot J9 van. Bit of classic stuff going on. Classic coffee. What do you think? Brew up a storm. My, my coffee journey takes a new turn. <laughs> we'll show you around it, we'll give you a closer look. <laughs> this is Tasha. This is her little baby. She's, well, overseen the build and done a lot of it themselves. I think they've made a cracking job of it, so all we can say is thanks very much for letting us buy it off you. <laughs> and uh, drag it all the way down to Leicester and we'll, uh, yeah, try and do his best to keep the business going. Well, you'll do really well. <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> hey, let's set it, let's set it in motion. Oh my word. Here's the van, back at home. Time for the work to start really. We've got quite a bit to do. You buy something, there's always little things you need to change. We're gonna rebrand it, so yeah. Mason wants to do his own thing with that, which is gonna be great. Um, but we've got a bit of body work, we'll give it a wash over. Um, touched in a few little scrapes that we've, we've come across. But we've got uh, all the underneath. I've got to underseal all of that because it's completely bare because it's come from the continent. They don't underseal over there. Um, UK weather and all that. So that's a job to do. Um, what else have we got? We've got round the back here. I'll show you down the bottom. Round the back here we've got some rot on the back doors and these back panels. Um, so I'm going to have to do something with this temporarily to start with and then maybe next year I shall um, replace the uh, the panel but I'm just going to fill that, paint it, make it look nice same as the doors, I'm going to have to do some reskinning or something on these at some point but not, not at the moment, we need to get it get it up and running and then we can do these bits as and when but uh, on a whole it's not so bad So inside it's absolutely beautiful. It's got this old vintage San Marco machine. Lovely San Marco grinder. Nice oak worktops. All kitted out with all the cupboards. Got loads of space inside. Um, and the beauty of these these J9 vans is you can uh, stand up in the back without banging your head. So I'll bang you back in there, so let's just show you what I mean with the 
because the problem that we've got or something I've got to be wary of is getting it around the back of the house I'm limited to how much height I've got getting it under the carport you can't get a high top transit down the back of the house so any of these sort of vans nowadays a modern looking thing you, you, they're too high so needed something that was low that you can get in well this has got a really low drop on the on the bottom there's not a lot of clearance let me take you back a bit so you can see what I'm on about so it's there's not much of a step up but when you're in I've got you know probably three or four inches height clearance on the top so it's uh, it's great and it goes underneath the carport which is even better Bring it inside. We've got a nice till iPad to sort set that up. It's really basic down here. Look, <laughs> it's clean though. You've got left hand drive, really basic um, setup inside. Old vinyl seats, but the actual mainframe of the vehicle, a little sink, tap, and uh, again, worktop, a few bits and pieces over here. It's also got a super electric system in it. It does need tidying up, I would say, but the basics are all there. And behind these cupboards here, it's got these huge, huge batteries. There's six of them. Um, and they run through inverters, which power up all of the fridges, freezers. There's a fridge at the back, freezer here. Um, and obviously the coffee machine, the grinder and all the electrics that go with it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> exciting times, exciting. It's exciting stuff. Let's go back down here. And then if we come back around the side, needs refining a little bit but I'm sure we can come up with something to make that a bit more uh, yeah refined um, but what drain <laughs> it's a start isn't it a few bits and bobs to tidy up make it look nice so the story of the van is it came across from the south of France it was running around the vineyards uh, with grapes and wine and stuff and, and that was two years ago then it was bought over um, tied up I believe a bit things have been done to it um, re-registered uh, then it was bought by the people who did the conversion and uh, a lot of that was done by some um, it was a company who, who do camper vans and stuff so they kitted out some of the bits and pieces inside I think it's had a few different people do little little jobs on it but um, yeah that's where it is it's say it went from south of France to Cambridge Cambridge to Yorkshire Yorkshire to us so uh, I'll just give you a quick whiz around the front because we've not been around there yet have we let's just have a look at that but that's the that's the front shot of it really unusual because we don't see them in the UK these J9s were never made well this is a Peugeot J9 I don't know if I told you that I can't remember Peugeot J9 van um, and they didn't make them in the UK they were they were built from 1980 Right the way through till 1990 um, by Peugeot, and then a, a Turkish company took them on, and they made them continuously then from uh, 1990 right the way through to 2010. So um, there's still quite a bit of a few parts and bits and pieces available for them, but it's all got to be bought over from the continent. So hopefully we shouldn't have any issues getting bits and pieces. But I love the quirkiness of it. I think the style, it looks different. And it, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Standing out and making making yourself look different to uh, everybody else. So hopefully it'll be a bit quirky and we'll get a few customers. What do you reckon? Today's job though, under seal. Let's get it up in the air, get the wheels off and uh, 
under sail, all in the arches and the floor, all underneath the car. Let's crack on. Now the first thing I ought to say is I've never worked on one of these before. In fact, this is the first one I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> so it's a learning curve for you and me. Um, but all cars are the same, you know, they all run the same things. This has got a few weird things on it. The brakes, some of the calipers and issues like that are, are, are different. Um, but only like slightly. Things are all the same. They all mechanically, mechanics are all the same. Um, you know, they all got four wheels and an engine. So we shouldn't have too many issues. It's a, so it's a learning curve. And we can uh, we can work our way through it, do for some bits and pieces, and I can really get stuck in and show you because there's hardly anything on these on the internet. Very very little stuff, and everything that is on there, it's all in French. So <laughs> let's see how we get on. Look at him go. Oh, okay. elf and safety. Watch yourself. <laughs> Trips over the jack. Oh, go on, get stuck in. Let's get it up in the air. He's had some practice. <laughs> get him go, look. <laughs> oh, theory me. It's a big old beast, though. The uh, it's quite a weighty vehicle. First thing you notice there, the handbrake's on, but the wheel spins. Reason being, the handbrake's on the front wheels. Big old wheels, get them out of the way. And look at the size of that drum. It's an absolute industrial monster, that. Really good, sturdy unit. So let's take you in and have a look. So what we've got here, these massive suspension units, that's what enables the van to go so low. There's no sort of external spring going up into the wheel arch. But it's got a shock absorber assembly there, brake lines into the big drum at the back. But it's really good under here. And what we've got, so I've got to take this tow bar off so I can do a decent job on this back panel. Um, but underneath here, it's got a plastic tank, so that's not going to be corroding. But you see underneath here, we've got a lot of flaking paint, but the actual structure is really good. It's as solid as a rock underneath. There's no holes or rot. It is literally just flaky paint because there's no under seal on here. It's flaking paint that just needs a bit of wire brush work on it and then under sealing the whole the whole van. Now I've got this 3M Schultz under seal stuff which is brilliant. It just bang, bangs on with a gun, it goes on really well. So we should be able to get that straight on there and uh, make a good job of it. First things first, so let's whip this tow bar off. It's just got like a bolt here, um, a couple down the back, and then this will be off. So uh, let's get that out of the way and then it'll give us a bit of room to do some work on the back end. Now this is, it's never the favourite place for me, being on my back, grovelling under the vehicles and this sort of stuff where you've got the wire brush and you're scrubbing away, getting all crap in your eyes, on your face, all over your arms, it's horrible. But it's a job that needs doing so we're just going to have to get stuck in and uh, get it done. Well, you are. Serena, <laughs> you should be under there, <laughs> you should get the young boy under there, no. scrubbing away, look the old man's on his back look, eh? I'll horrible. leave you to it, you look like you're doing a good job. Looking better though. Right, so we've had a good scrubbing down. We've got rid of all the loose. And we've got rid of all the loose paint that was hanging around. And now we can get some under seal under there. Now I like my patio, so uh, I'm gonna have to put some of these old 
bed sheets down. Well, actually, they might be the worst, best bed sheets, but uh, actually, mate, I think these are your bed sheets. These are definitely my bed sheets. I wonder why I've been sleeping on just a mattress. I wonder what was going on there. But you've got to protect the patio floor. You have, because this underseal goes <laughs> everywhere. It's, it has loads of overspray, so you've got to be a bit careful. Right, so what we've got is this stuff. This is the 3M um, body shorts, black textured, and it's overpaintable. So what we can do eventually is probably come up to... Uh, I don't know, just a uh, six inches on the bottom of the doors, make it all nice, textured, and then paint over it with the beige, and uh, and it will look real nice. It'll look lovely. Covers up a load of these little rusty spots and uh, bits and pieces as well. So, but this is going all underneath the van. I've got the whole lot. Uh, at the minute, I've got nine cans of this. So uh, <laughs> let's get it on there and see how we get on. Got the top off it, ring full metal inner in there, you can get the tube and the whole gun, put it on the top and just bang it through. So literally just uh, like so, and then screw the new one in. There we go, ready to go again. We've got the gun, we've got the stuff, and we're firing away. With this uh, shorts gun, you can actually just tweak that adjuster on the top there which gives you a completely different spray pattern so you can get different textures by just altering the knob it's it's great for you can't have it thick thin quite runner you know really quite quite a different profile for each setting and it's going everywhere <laughs> blast away look, look at that So here we go, I'll show you what we've got up to. Oh, so we've just used the last of the, the nine spray canisters up, but we are completely covered now underneath. Everything is under sealed up. It looks absolutely spondula. Got loads of it on. Really good thick coating. And uh, that should keep the salt out. I was telling you about the uh, handbrake on this thing. You can see here how the cables come in to the front brake caliper and the handbrake is off the front brake caliper. How strange is that? So that's all the under ceiling all sorted. Just got to get this wheel back on, get it on the deck. And uh, as you can see, I think I've got more on me than what we have on the van. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be rotting any time soon. <laughs> A nightmare, isn't it? You're like you've been oh. down the mines. Oh, I've been down the mines. But um, yeah, so good job. Today's job done. There's going to be quite a bit more to come on this old bus if you're interested, you know, come along the, the journey with us. My coffee journey, well, mine and Mason's. I've got a little bit more to do on the front, but we've run out. We've used nine cans uh, to do all of the back and the front wheel arches. We've still got to do around the sides and a bit more tidying, but uh, that's today's job sorted. That's it. We're done. So, um, well, I mean, I've not really done a lot. All I've done is just followed that around with the sheets. I've been sheeting everywhere. It's been, it's been, uh, yeah, been like I say, uh, the overspray, it's been, it's been uh, pretty, pretty mad. I think I've got more on me than what I have, we have on the van. Yeah, but you do look like you've been down the mountain. Yeah, look at the state, look, look at this. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm absolutely covered in all the Um But yeah, so Mason's got some uh, rebranding ideas coming up soon. And, uh, yeah, it's going to look great. What's his face? Oh, yeah. his face. Travelling yeah. barista didn't know more. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. So yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this one. Um, there's plenty more to come. The bus needs quite a bit of work doing to it. So uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.